let's go over the Giants' pass rush because we've been talking about this for weeks now. Like, where's Brian Burns? $30 million man is disappearing left and right here. You know, he had the one sack they took away from him with that BS pass interference call uh, in last week's game against the Commanders. But otherwise, hasn't been really a big effect to this team here whatsoever. Until you today. Know, <laughs> yeah, and then you got Thibodeau, you know, fifth overall pick in the draft a couple weeks ago, basically be disappearing left and right. You know, it's been like Dexter Lawrence has had to be like a one to man army basically at that point. And he's good, but no one's that good. So here's where we're at sacks for the game one sack for Justin Pinnock, half a sack for Bobby O'Karake, two for Dexter Lawrence, one for Elijah Chapman, half a sack for Nacho Raheem Nunez Rochez. One and a half sacks for sacks for Aziz uh, Ojolari there, and one sack for Brian Burns. Guys, that's that's a lot of sacks. That's yeah, that's more sacks than a Chippendale mail review here at that point. Yeah. Okay, that's like that's insane. Like that's a it lot. Looks like a bachelorette party, guys. So like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> wait for somebody to come out in a freaking bow tie. Like, <laughs> yeah. it was that that was brutal. And there was there was moves in here that again we've talked about before. Sacks is a nice stat. We like looking at them. We like seeing them. But what it boils down to is that that's not the most important thing because it's not always an indication of how you how well you got to the quarterback. And there's plenty of plays that show up. Like I'm going to use Thibodeau for example. Like we got to talk about him because we've been knocking him for disappearing for most of the season so far. That man, in the end, did not have a single sack today. Let me be very firm about that. No, but, but you he... don't think he got to the quarterback? You weren't watching this game. No, he I'm definitely. He definitely put a lot of pressure on their quarterback. And, like, that's – like, listen, you can't knock it. Like, we talked about sacks is a great number to have this and that. Yeah. Like, but Just if you're pressing your the quarterback – Yeah, if you're pressing – if you're putting pressure on the quarterback and – And, like, he can't make the throws that he's supposed to be making as a quarterback, you're doing your job. Like, granted, it doesn't show on stat lines. Like, oh, my God. You stack this guy like you don't really see the pressure or like you can't really judge full pressures, but like today, today Tibbs, Burns, okay, okay, sexy Dex, they all were putting pressure on Watson the whole game, oh, yeah. oh. and it, it showed. It showed, except the fourth quarter, but we'll get into that a little bit. Here. Yeah, but, yeah, like, you know. Even a guy like Ujolari, who uh, to me, I've, I've said forever, this guy has potential to be a really good pass rushing specialist this year for us here. One and a half sacks. He had, I believe he had the fumble recovery on the botch snap as well there, on the batch, batch uh, handoff, I mean. So, you know, good by him all around, a guy that we also haven't heard much of. But the big one's Brian Burns. Again, he had one sack on paper, which was a strip sack, by the way, which was much greater. But the man was showing up. There was a lot of plays that you didn't see him getting anything on the stat sheet. You know, like he had that one play, for example, he happened to get hand on uh, Watson's arm as Watson is throwing the ball at that point. And while it didn't break up the play, it made the throw way off at that point. There's moves like this said for him that are not going to show up on the stat sheet. Brian Burns showed up today, point blank. Big time. He deserves credit. You know, Thibodeau. Again, didn't have a sack, but was in the backfield, showed up today. Ojolari showed up today. Dexter Lawrence always shows up, but shows up today, of course, as well. You know, the big names you needed to show up showed up at that point. And that's that's the big move there. You know, even Pinnock, guy, the guy has always been pretty decent as far as being a guy who, you know, applies the pressure for the safety position on that kind of blitz there, uh, showed up today. You know, this is one of those things that they all showed up. Now, here part that I, I gotta be I don't want to be Debbie Downer on this thing here because we won but well, there's gonna be a little bit here of it hmm. over here and it's not even the disappearing act that pass rush had in the fourth quarter I'm trying not to like okay like we have the ability of fans to always overreact to every game and a lot of times we overreact in the negative connotation you know we always think of it that way like, all of us, including us, DJ had the bad first game. Let's bench him, blah, blah, blah. I still think we should have, but it's a whole separate thing. Um, you know, in this case here, we won this game. We got a lot of sacks. I think we had six sacks in the, on the game, I think it was. I do the math there, but, um, you know, everybody's like, oh, the pass rush did their job. The pass rush is back. And are they? 
It was eight sacks, by the way. Woo. But are they back? Because that offensive line, guys, was decimated. Like they're like one phone call away from getting Justin Pugh off the couch, guys. That's how bad it is. So I want us to be excited. I want us to be happy for the win. I want us to be happy that Burns and Thibodeau and all these guys showed up at that point. But I gotta bring it up the fact that they're at towards the end of the game, they're playing against guys that were backups, guys that are moving position, guys that were, you know, had weren't supposed to be there, point blank. Yeah. You know, Conklin started the game out. Wills was out by the end of the game. Like we 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 gotta say great job by the pass rush, because they had a great job. But we also have to say you gotta do this next week as well. <laughs> Because the injuries were apparent. The injuries were everywhere on that Browns offense. And it'd be nice if he showed up in the fourth quarter next time. Yeah. Like I said, it's just... It, it, it's a shame because I went into this game like halfway through the third quarter going, okay, this is freaking exciting. This is great. This is the game I've been hoping for. The Giants finally putting things together. You know, DJ didn't make some throws he probably should have but we're, we're doing without we're okay we're dealing with what we got cause it's what we got but it never should have been this close down the stretch guys disappeared, guys. disappeared you know so we got to look at that as well and say disappeared down the stretch did a lot of damage against not a very good offensive line that was injured that was playing rough to begin with. I mean, we said what the Cowboys got six sacks against them. I think week one we said, remember right talking about the power. I believe it was six. Yeah, you know, Jags didn't really do anything, but you know, and they should have. They got you know a couple of big time pass rushers there, obviously. Um, but listen, guys, I want to see it next week as well before I just get too excited about this pass rush. But we said it all along. Part of the equation for this defense, guys, was getting this this defense and the defensive stars adjusted to the scheme. Because keep in mind, even for the people that have been here for a couple of years, this is a brand new defense. A brand new defense. And it takes a few weeks sometimes. You can practice all you want. Nothing beats game speed. Nothing beats how it is in a game. It takes a few weeks sometimes for a defense to get together. And we did it this time. We did what we had to do. And 15 points is not a lot of points to give up, guys. You know. No. Again, <laughs> It shouldn't have been, let's be honest here, we, we could easily have had a touchdown towards the end and it could have been, you know, 28 to 15. Singletary made the right move. I'm not blaming him for that. But the defense did their job. And we got to give them the kudos at that point. We got to give them the kudos. So. If you like that clip, then you will love the full episodes too. Find us on your favorite podcast app and look for us on all your favorite social media platforms. Thanks so much. Please, I'm, 